This is your friendly neighborhood ex-Muslim. This Muslim YouTuber with 80,000 subs who goes by the name of Way of Life SQ called me out on my last video with the following comment. You're such a cornball. If you're an ex-Muslim, good for you, my G. Why don't you promote your Christian or atheist beliefs and leave Islam out of it? You're lame and need to get a life. You don't want no smoke, my guy. That last part sounds like a threat. Like when a gangster says to you, you don't want a problem or you don't want to be messed up by me. Not sure why he had to escalate to threats. These Dawa guys already have well-funded channels to spout out the Islamic propaganda 24-7. Why so intimidated by a little ex-Muslim YouTuber? In the context of Muslim violence against dissenters, this becomes more credible. Critics of Islam like Abdul Hamid Samad, Salman Rushdie, and Ayan Hirsi Ali have to live under fear of threat because of the things they have said about Islam. When a Muslim says this to a non-Muslim critic, you have to take it seriously. Time and time again, responses like this break my heart. Where is the Muslim community's intellectual response? Where is the arguments, the strong critique or the response to us? Why does it always get to threatening comments, mocking and childish taunts? Where is the William Lane Craig of the Ummah? Why don't you promote your Christian or atheist beliefs and leave Islam out of it? You're lame and need to get a life. The irony here. Do you know what the irony is? The video he's talking about where he responds is where I speak about why Muhammad Hijab involved my wife and others in his online abuse. Shell, who has never said a single word against Islam, was the focus of his cyberbullying. And so I made a video sharing the history of how it got to that point. On this video, of all the videos he chose, he's telling me to stay out of it and to leave Islam alone. Don't you see that Islam doesn't leave us alone? You are the perfect example of that. Big men scared of little words. Your religion with your perfect prophet doesn't need thugs to protect it. If it does, I'm not so sure it's the right religion or really from God. Christianity is doing just fine without all this thuggery, one billion of them and counting. As for your comment, why don't you promote your Christian or atheist beliefs? I guess I'm not Muslim, so I must be either Christian or atheist. If you aren't sure, maybe you should do some homework before leaving such silly comments. I'm obviously atheist. What are atheist beliefs and what exactly do you want me to speak about? Let's make a video on it. Atheism. No God. Okay, that's it. That's what atheism is. It's just a lack of beliefs in gods, goddesses, spirits, monsters, demons, angels. No supernatural. Just the material world. Now that we got that out of the way, we can talk about things that matter like harmful belief systems. There's a ton of atheist channels out there. Many of them focus on atheism from an ex-Christian perspective. Matt Dillahunty, Aaron Ra, Genetically Modified Skeptic, Holy Kool-Aid, among others. But what about people from a Muslim background who are having doubts? The issues in Christianity are different from the ones in Islam. Christianity, for example, doesn't have a problem with radical terrorism. It doesn't have as much of a problem with women's rights. There are problems, but they're different. Some problems exist in both religions, like the problem of suffering and evil. So when I speak about that, I end up speaking about both religions. But where does that leave us? With a need. A need for someone to speak about the issues particular to Islam. Problems like the ones I highlighted above. Dawkins, Bar Ehrman, Sam Harris speak from a very Christian heavy background. We need atheist Muslim voices. The Muslim world is craving an enlightenment. Urdu channels like Harris Sultan are growing in leaps and bounds because of a strong desire for such content. And no, I'm not going to stop talking about Islam, or for that matter other religions, but mainly Islam. Because I'm a person who stands up for what he believes in. The world will not be a better place if we fall to religious bigotry and violence. Whatever the consequences, we need to speak up and fight hateful ideas no matter where they come from. If Muslims don't like it, why not focus on reform rather than silencing others? Fix your problems rather than shutting down those who point them out. And here's another question for you, Sohail. Do your Muslim scholars and da'i stay in their lane and only talk about Islam? No, of course not. Just look at any Islamic channel on YouTube. Why I'm not an atheist by Shabir Ali? How to disprove the Bible with one argument by Muhammad Hijab? Zakir Naik uses Bible to prove Trinity is a lie. Ahmed did that. 100% proof Jesus was not crucified. Also by Khalid Yasin. How to conquer atheism in 8 minutes by Muhammad Hijab? A playlist called for atheists on Islamic member. A playlist called for Christians on Islamic member. Why not tell all these Muslims to stop talking about other religions and only talk about Islam? 
And how about telling animal rights activists not to talk about animals? Environmentalists to stop whining about oil companies who spill thousands of liters of oil into our oceans. Tell battered women to stop talking about violence against women and children. How about telling human rights activists to stop complaining about the Chinese Igual Muslims and their mistreatment? They aren't Muslim, right? Why should they talk about that? Wrong. All of us should talk about things that bother us, things that are harmful, things that need to change in the world. And that's how we make the world a better place. Instead of trying to silence me with your vague threats, why not just respond with better? Show the world what Islam is all about in a positive manner, not by being a wannabe gangster. Unless, of course, that is what Islam is about. And you are doing exactly what Muhammad did when he sent assassins to kill the poets who criticized him. You guys really need to work on your PR. Work on defeating bad ideas with better ones, not with bullying. So stop trying to silence us. Instead of worrying about what we talk about on our channels, focus on your own. Your efforts will inevitably be futile. We will not stand down. We will not be silenced. And that's final. Thank you to everyone who has supported me recently against all the abuse I've been getting. All the supportive messages and those of you who continue financially supporting me. If you aren't a member, click join now to join the channel and get early access to some of my videos and my gratitude. You can also consider supporting me on Patreon or with one-time PayPal donations. But monthly is the best way for me to grow this channel. This is your friendly neighborhood ex-Muslim Abdullah Samir signing out.